Today, I'm excited to present you the results of a first-of-its-kind study. Together with SimilarWeb, I analyzed over 7 million sessions from AI chatbots to see if their traffic converts better than traffic from search engines. I've claimed many times that chatbot traffic converts better because users go through exploration and evaluation cycles faster than on search engines. And therefore, when they're ready to convert and click on an outbound link, that traffic has a higher conversion rate than from search engines. To test this, SimilarWeb provided me with a large data set of over 7 million referral sessions from major AI chatbots and of course Google Search that stretches across September to November of last year and has a heavy focus on transactional traffic, meaning all the sessions eventually landed on checkout or signup pages. Before we jump into the results of the study, I want to point out two important caveats. First of all, the results of the study have a heavy bias towards e-commerce simply because that industry is so much bigger than SaaS. And second, AI chatbot traffic is still tiny in comparison to organic search traffic. We're talking about 1% and less. So do keep in mind that there is an opportunity here, but it's still a small one. At this point, I also want to send a big thank you to the similar web team, especially Lewis and Adele for supporting me with that data. Same old, same old. To start with the results, I want to look at the key findings from analyzing the top 10 landing pages by referral traffic. And the first interesting pattern that we see here is that around 80% of transactional traffic to the top landing pages goes to e-commerce sites. And the majority of that 80% actually go to players that we already know from search, Amazon, eBay, and Walmart. Interestingly, Microsoft also appears very frequently in the top 10, and that's probably because users are searching for specific software like Copilot or Microsoft Teams. The key takeaway here is that e-commerce players that already dominate organic search meaning mostly Google, also seem to dominate heavily in AI chatbots. And the reason is that AI chatbots still ground their answers very heavily in search results. So there's no surprise that the same players dominate. However, down the line, I could see that AI chatbots develop their own set of quote unquote ranking factors simply because they get so much better data from longer queries and conversations that users have with them. AI chatbot traffic is more engaged. Two metrics tell the story of quality from referral traffic, session duration, and the number of page views per session. Just to clarify, a combination of high session duration with a high number of ideally non-bounced page views means that users evaluate the product for longer and are more likely to buy. The data shows very clearly that AI chatbots referrals stay longer, on average a whole minute. The average session duration for Google referrals is 8.1 minutes. The average for AI chatbots is 10.4 minutes. And for Copilot, it's even 11.6 minutes. To put this into perspective, I wanted to see if users who stay longer also visit more pages on the site. And the the answer to that is a resounding yes. AI chatbot referrals visit 12.4 pages on average compared to Google's 11.8. As a result, I think we can conclude that AI chatbot traffic has a higher quality than search engine traffic. And luckily, the similar web data was also trended over time, which means I could observe that non-bounced page views from, for example, Copilot grew by 15% and Perplexity by 22%, which is much, much faster than Google's growth rate of 5%. What impressed me is how ChatGPT is able to keep growing session duration while the traffic is exploding, which means that their models are getting better at answering questions while more people are using them. Just for comparison, Google's session duration and traffic are absolutely flat over the last couple of years. And I do want to be fair pointing out that Google is a mature channel and magnitudes larger than ChatGPT, but it's still impressive. Another surprise to me was that Microsoft Copilot's engagement was better than Perplexity's. Even though Perplexity has higher adoption and launched an e-commerce specific AI agent called Chop with Pro. Maybe the reason is that Microsoft rolled out Copilot across so many of its devices and software products. At this point, a friendly reminder to please subscribe to this channel and go to growthmemo.com to sign up for the free weekly newsletter. AI chatbots send more and better traffic to home pages than Google. To better understand where referral traffic from AI chatbots and Google land, I looked at folder depth, which is represented by the number of slashes in the URL after the domain name. A higher folder depth means there are more folders in the URL, which in return means that people land deeper in the site architecture. 
For example, a search for best cheap fridge magnets in Microsoft Copilot leads you to a URL that has a folder depth of four. The theory here is that a higher folder depth means that people go to more specific pages that are more likely to answer their questions or give them a good result. The data shows a significant difference in folder depth between the different referral sources, even among AI chatbots. For example, ChatGPT sends over 50% more traffic to home pages than Copilot or Perplexity, and over three times more to home pages than Google Search. Compared to search engines, only AI chatbots send referrals to a folder level of eight, probably because many sites don't have as many levels. So we know that AI chatbots send more traffic directly to home pages, whereas Google prefers to send people to the second and third folder level. Perplexity leads in deep linking with an average of 2.45 folder depth, followed by Google Search, which has an average of 2.33, and Gemini, which has an average of two. ChatGPT, as I mentioned, sends 30% of traffic to home pages, while Google only sends 10%. However, ChatGPT shows higher session duration for both homepage and non-homepage referrals compared to Google, meaning that even though more traffic goes to the homepage, it's still of a higher quality compared to search engines. The implications of the results are pretty big. What we can learn is that home pages gain more importance in this AI era and that AI chatbots send better quality traffic to home pages. And that goes against the traditional assumptions about user impatience, and it seems that they just don't apply to AI referred traffic. And as a result, SEOs, UX designers, product managers, and probably more roles need to reconsider the role of home pages and how they build the architecture of their websites. Deeper content seems to resonate better. Next, I was curious about the relationship between query length and landing pages. The thing is that right now we can really only measure query length for Google search, but the data can still tell us something about the AI future. We can make an educated assumption that AI chatbot queries are probably longer than regular Google search because of their conversational nature. And this assumption is supported by statements that Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai has made repeatedly in the past. For example, in the past year, we've answered billions of queries as part of our search generative experience experience. People are using it to search in entirely new ways and asking new types of questions, longer and more complex queries, even searching with photos and getting back the best that the web has to offer. What I found when analyzing Google search data is that session duration decreases until a folder depth level of four and then flattens out. Users spend an equal time on pages regardless of their depth at levels four to 10. So the way that I interpret this data is that users are probably finding what they need at deeper levels. On the other hand, we can see that the session duration for referrals sent to the homepage continues to drop with higher folder depth as search queries are getting longer. And that's a mouthful, but what it essentially means is that longer searches sent to the homepage are not performing better. Whereas if they don't go to the homepage, they flatten out at a certain point of time because users are finding what they're looking for. Here's how we tie this back to AI search. First, the engagement of referral traffic from AI chatbots could probably be even higher if they send more traffic to non-homepage pages. Because AI chatbots can understand the context and meaning of search queries so much better, deep linking would likely yield a better result than linking to the homepage. I do assume though that things like incomplete web crawling and the very nascent search functionality still lead a lot of chatbots to link to the homepage. In other words, this could change and AI chatbots could send more traffic deeper to the site architecture for more sites in the future. So what does all of this mean? Let's recap. AI chatbot adoption is surging rapidly. ChatGPT has over 300 million weekly users. Bing Chat is helping Microsoft gain search market share and drive revenue growth. And 72% of companies are now using AI in at least one business function. As addition, this analysis of over 7 million referral sessions shows us that e-commerce is still dominated by the same players, whether we look at organic search or AI chatbots. We can also conclude that AI chatbots send higher quality traffic that stays on average 2.3 minutes longer and views more pages in the same session. Third, AI chatbots send more traffic to the homepage on average 22% compared to Google, which sends about 10%. And despite more traffic going to the homepage, 
the quality of AI chatbot traffic is superior. We're seeing some surprising growth trends among AI chatbots. For example, Copilot has grown 15% between September and November, Perplexity 22% compared to Google's 5%. I'm gonna leave you with two key challenges that companies need to figure out. First of all, the early results are promising, but the reality is that this channel, meaning AI chatbots, still needs time to reach critical mass. On the other hand, companies need to decide if they want to invest early in AI chatbots and potentially become first movers or wait to see how this plays out and invest their resources in other ways. The choice is yours, but now you have the data.